State Auditor Beth Wood told a judge she was drinking before her crash in a state owned car over the holidays. Now, as part of that admission, Wood also says she wasn't impaired. So let's bring in WREL Investigates reporter Colin Browder, because right now you are wondering a little bit about if her claim was legitimate. So what did you learn, Colin? Well, Chris, first of all, let's just talk about so many factors aside from how many drinks you've had can impact your blood alcohol level. The time between drinks, whether you're eating, drinking water, your size, your individual metabolism all play a role. In this case, the only factor we know of two glasses of wine. And we can only base that on what Wood said in court because it doesn't appear that investigators question a bartender or others at the party she was attending. I was not impaired. But given the positioning of the two cars and the fact that I had had two glasses of wine at this event, I made an error in judgment in the moment. So we found several studies and charts that show if Wood only had two drinks, she likely would have been below the state's blood alcohol concentration limit at 0.08. So here are some BAC levels from research done by Wisconsin State Patrol's toxicology lab. Focus on the levels for women in the two drink column. Those numbers don't factor in whether someone's been eating, how long they've been drinking. You can subtract 0.01 for every hour. So even if Wood weighed just 110 pounds, down both those drinks in one hour, her BAC likely would have been around 0.074 below the state's legal limit to drive. Now, advocacy groups argue you shouldn't drive after drinking any amount because even one drink can impact your driving abilities. We reached out to Woods representatives about the drinks. They referred us back to her statement yesterday. You heard it there. She admitted she made an error in judgment in the moment. Had she made the right decision, she would not have been in court yesterday pleading guilty. Chris. A lot of details there and a lot of context to put this into place. All right, thanks, Colin.